Hello everyone. This is Jin Zhenbao. I'm a Chinese teacher of uh, Taoist meditation. That is meditation based on Taoism, the traditional Chinese philosophy. When we talk about uh, uh, meditation, we often think of enlightenment, consciousness, and Buddhism, but we don't uh, often relate meditation with the healing of physical problem or disease. But the strength of the Taoist meditation is for the healing of uh, disease physical problem. It's uh, related to Qigong, but it's uh, much deeper and uh, broader than Qigong. At this special time when the pandemic of coronavirus is still developing in the world, we know that uh, uh, the healing of infection with coronavirus relies very much on our personal immune system, on our personal life force. Like the young person has more chance to uh, recover from the infection. Is there a way that uh, we can uh, reliably strengthen and develop our immune system, our life force? The answer is yes. Uh, this is the traditional wisdom of the Chinese culture. As we know, uh, in the past months in Wuhan, traditional Chinese medicine, uh, including herbal medicine and uh, acupuncture, has been used to heal people, uh, to heal the infected people. Uh, basically, in Wuhan, more than 90% of people are giving traditional Chinese medicine, including herbal medicine and acupuncture, and also some uh, movement with good success. Yeah. The herbal medicine and acupuncture don't target the virus. They don't kill the virus directly. They work at the energy level. They activate and strengthen the energy uh, level so that uh, the body, the life, is strong enough to deal with the virus. However, we can also develop our immune system without uh, using herbal medicine or acupuncture. That is through meditation. According to the Taoism, which is also the basis of traditional Chinese medicine, the life force or life energy, or in Chinese we say qi, flows any time in our body and in a circle. That is, it goes down in the front and it goes up in the back. in a circle. However, uh, when the energy goes down, it uh, accumulates in the body so that uh, we uh, have enough energy, like when we take a rest or when we sleep, the energy basically going down. 
And when we sink the energy more goes up so that the brain can work can work and in this uh, model the upward model we consume energy when we sleep or when we take a rest we don't think the downward pattern will be dominating and we accumulate energy so there needed to be a balance it's also why when we think we our perception of energy will be weakened will be reduced because the thinking will weaken our perception of the body and uh, uh, it also uh, weaken the downward pattern that's why when we do meditation we try to stop thinking so that the energy can uh, go down can so that the downward pattern the downward model will be dominating maybe in the very beginning you don't feel the downward flow of the energy but it's an issue of time and an issue of practice so uh, now let me show you how we can develop our life force develop strengthen our immune system by doing meditation when we do meditation we don't need to sit in lotus position for beginners it's much better to sit in a chair like this a chair like this when we sit there our side should be parallel to the ground and our side should be as wide as the shoulder and we put our hands on the side in a comfortable way and we can move up uh, forward and backward for so that we can find the most comfortable position yeah. and uh, we put the glass away and we to further relax ourselves we wrap the hands wrap the hands make it warm and we rub the first we rub the ears also rub the scalp so that we can relax so before we start we will first do 10 minutes for beginners 10 minutes is enough so I will set my mobile set the, alarm, the clock for 10 minutes now we close our eyes we relax ourselves we breathe through the nose in a natural way and we focus more on the out breathing on the exhalation we make the exhalation a little bit longer than normal 
but we don't need to make it as long as possible. We simply make it a little bit longer than normal. That will make us more relaxed. And we allow the inhalation, the embracing occur automatically or naturally. And we try to find a comfortable reason of breathing. We breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. We try to find a reason of breathing. If during the practice, we become aware that our breathing becomes automatic again. That means we are thinking. If we become aware of this, we simply stop thinking and come back to the breathing. During this practice, we will slowly become aware that the body starts to change. Something happens in the body. We feel that maybe the body becomes warmer or becomes colder or we feel the hand get swollen or we feel that the saliva, more saliva or we feel the stomach or the bowel makes noise or we may fart. Whatever we feel in the body, we simply watch it and uh, see how it uh, develops. We may also hear something in the room. Whatever we feel or we hear, we just feel. We don't try to think of these changes. If during the practice we find our breathing becomes automatic again, that means we are thinking. So we will stop thinking and come back to the breathing. It's like when we go out with a dog. When the dog run away, we pull it back. When the dog run away, we pull it back. At the same time, we watch how the body changes.
No, it's 10 minutes. Before we open our eyes, we rub our hands, rub our face, rub our ears, rub the head. And now we open the eyes and uh, come back. So if you feel anything in the body, you can, uh, or you have any question, you can write email to me. It's jinzhenbao uh, at hotmail.com. J-I-N-Z-H E M B A O at hotmail dot com, and I will answer you. The Taoist meditation is not only sitting meditation. It also include moving meditation, such as jogging meditation, walking meditation, Tai Chi is also a form of moving meditation. The city meditation has to be combined with moving meditation so that the effect of healing will be amplified. The city meditation mainly works on the energy it can efficiently activate and strengthen the flow of energy in the body. And the flow of energy or qi will activate the flow of blood in the body. And the flow of blood circulation, the blood circulation when it's accelerated, it will also restore the the body, it can remove the uh, symptoms uh, in the body because all kinds of disease are caused by the blockage of energy in the body. By doing meditation, we can activate the flow energy so that the blockage will be removed. To, for that purpose, we also need to do a moving meditation, like jogging. And uh, I uh, also teach uh, so-called rhythmic jogging. I will introduce it in another video. It's a kind of different from the normal jogging. It's a kind of jogging that is combined with the reason of breathing. Through such sitting and uh, moving meditation, we will find that uh, we will we can proactively accept, activate and strengthen our life energy and uh, uh, rejuvenate our physical body. So our consciousness, our mind can also be able to uh, proactively rejuvenate our life, including its physical dimension. I will talk about more on this. So much for today. Thank you.